Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Scrote, and it is great to have you here today. We are taking another look at From the Depths, our Let's Learn series. And in this episode, we are going to be building our first boat. It's going to be a simple boat. And in order to do that, we're going to go ahead and hop right down into the Vehicle Designer. It's going to be short and sweet, my friends. This should get, uh, hopefully, a good firm grasp for you on, on what you can do to make a basic boat. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and enter Build Mode. We're going to press E to open up the inventory, and we're going to go ahead and make a new object. So we're going to click New Object, go right to Vehicle, and I'm going to double tap the A key, so I go left here. And I just want to, I want to work on the vehicle out here. So now I'm going to left click, and now we have a new vehicle. So now I'm going to hit Caps Lock, and I'm going to go ahead and raise this up out of the water, so we can go ahead and get working on it. Okay, so... First, I want to do is go to blocks. So I'm going to open my inventory, go to blocks. I want to use wood beams, I think, to start. So we're just going to build a very simple boat with wood beams and uh, normal wood blocks. Oh, you know what? Let's do this instead. Go ahead and press E to open your inventory again, if you haven't already. And we're going to use beams and, and wood blocks and slopes, I'm sure, as well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to... So you can see there are these number keys. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 0, so 1 through 10, or 1 through 0, however you want to look at that. Uh, when you're mousing over these, you can press a hot key, one of these numbers, and it will assign that block to that key. So you can actually get back to that block without having to reopen your inventory. So I'm going to make wood block 1 by pressing 1. Wood beam will be 2, and uh, wood slope will be 3. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is enter mirror mode uh, on this first block here. And I'm going to kind of just build this part out a little bit. Just to get something even on there. Just like that, actually. And let's see. We're just going to get a basic boat shape. Oops. Now, you can really build anything here. What, what the aim is, is that you're just going to have some structure that we can kind of make into a boat. So, here's the base structure. Now, what I'm going to start doing is let's... Let's work up a little bit. We're going to work over, up, and out. Just like this. You know, get a... Oops. Get a little starting uh, rib going, if you will. I think this will be good. Right about like this. So I'm going to fill in these last couple of spots here. Boy, I'm all over the place with my uh, placement. Here we go. And, unlike so... So next up, what we want to do, I may just kind of leave it like this. Let's do this. Fill in these parts here. Looking good. Now I'm going to get my normal wood blocks out. Kind of close up the front, you know, just get a little basic boat shape going. In fact, I'm going to put a few of these just right in the front like this. Excellent. I mean, why not? You know, just kind of use your imagination on this part. Really, that's like the world's your playground. So, you know, it's open-ended. It's kind of sandboxy. Build to your heart's content. So, we have a basic structure for a boat. And if you're not quite there yet, you know, you could always do something like pause the video and finish yours out. So, what I'd recommend doing next is just hit caps lock. Let your ship float, uh, sink to the sea and just see how it floats. Make sure it's looking okay. You know, yeah, we're not looking bad. Okay, so let's bring it back out. So, here's the next thing uh, we'll want to do. Inside of the boat's looking all right, so this boat is going to need an engine. So let's go ahead and get right to the engine. And, uh, you know, if you're not quite sure how to build an engine, there there is a tutorial, hopefully right before this one, that'll teach you really quickly. So what I'm going to do, you're going to start with the engine block. We're just going to place it right in the back. Uh, let's just, you know what? I'm just going to use one crankshaft. It doesn't need to be very big. Let's see, on, on top of the cylinders... We'll place the carburetors. To the side of the carburetors, we'll place the fuel. On top of the carburetors, we will place the uh, superchargers, and we'll place another supercharger right down here. All right, look at that. 14 power. That should be plenty, uh, I think. We'll find out. Okay, so we have an engine. So we've got the power systems. Now what we want to do, we want to go back into our inventory, go to the water tab, so this is all your boat-related things. First, let's get an air pump. And I'm going to put... It doesn't really matter where you put this. Just make sure it's in part of your boat, you know, down in the bottom somewhere. 
And what the air pump will do is uh, it will help with your buoyancy by pumping water out of your ship's hold like this. Highly recommended. So now what we're going to do, let's get some boat propellers. We don't need huge. And in fact, you may not even have this unlocked. So we'll just go with a basic boat propeller. Now here's what you want to do. Find the center of mass on your boat. That is denoted by this, this uh, crosshair thing with the iron weight in the middle. So the center of mass is roughly right here, or up one. And what you want to do, you want to make sure you can get your, your ship's propulsion as close as possible to the center of your ship's mass. So I know that this is pretty close. So what will happen, let's say if you put your propulsion below your ship's mass, uh, it will actually raise the front of your ship out of the, out of the water. And vice versa, if you, if you put it above your ship's mass, then it will uh, it'll cause it to dip down. So just something to think about. Okay, so we've got some back propulsion. Uh, let's keep the propellers selected and let's go to the front. Oh, you know what? We'll do this part in a second. Um, let's go ahead and work on the ship's keel next. So let's go to blocks. And in fact, what I'm going to use is just a metal. Let's use metal beams. And the ship's keel, this can just be, you know, something on the bottom. Uh, I'm going to have this run the whole length of the ship. In fact, it's going to stick out like that too. And here we go. I'll make it kind of nice by... Let's see. We'll do something like that. And like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. There we go. Look at that front of the ship looking kind of weird and freaky. Sorry, you know, I'm just do adding some aesthetics on there for us to be uh, pleasing to the eye. There we go. Look at that. She's ready. Okay, so we've got this keel on the bottom of the ship. Now, we know this should be below the water. So, with the keel in place... And now, the keel is something that we're going to attach our, our ship's rudder to. And, uh, as well as uh, some forward left and right thrusters to help the ship turn. You don't necessarily have to with a small ship, but I find it helps. So, let's, let's go back to the inventory, go to water. We're going to get the rudder. And we're going to place the rudder right at the bottom of the ship's keel there. Just like so. And now let's go back to your inventory and let's get a couple more propellers and let's place these right on the front. Facing inwards like this. The ship, now there's no tweaks you should need to, uh, to do on those. The ship should automatically take into account that they are there to help uh, turn. That's the thought anyways. Now I'm going to add just a few more slopes on the back. Just get her looking real nice. Okay. Sweet. So there's a few things left. Let's go back to our inventory. We're going to go to control, and we're going to place a vehicle controller down. I'll place mine just like right here. Oh. I want it to face the right direction. Definitely, definitely want that. Now, the ship's controller, you could instead use a ship's wheel here. But uh, the vehicle controller, I'm used to just placing that down everywhere because it can, it can change the mode that it operates. So it can operate... Uh, Boats, it can operate planes, uh, which great. It's pretty versatile. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and put my avatar in the chair again by just pressing Q on it. So we've got the, we've got the seat, we've got the uh, controller, we've got the engine, we've got back propulsion, we've got front propulsion, uh, we've got one really ugly looking ship. But I think we're ready. So I'm going to exit build mode. And let's see. First off, let's see how it... Uh, Lays in the water, lies in the water. You can see there's, there's, you know, not much water in the hold. The uh, air pump does a good job of trying to keep it out. And now the big tail is, can we make it go? So you can just use the controls that uh, you have defined. And let's see. Look at this. We are cooking. And let's see if Y and I will change, will... Oh, yeah. Wow, look at this turn radius we got on this thing. That's actually impressive. We have no no engine power left for it, but wow, this thing is really maneuverable. So guys, this was it. This was building your basic boat. Uh, there's really not much to it, you know? Engine, propulsion, you want to make sure you have some of the basics, like understanding your center of mass. Always watch out for that center of mass. I just can't stress that enough. Anytime you have problems with your ship dipping or diving or anything in between, just, just reconsider your ship's mass and what you can do to uh, readjust your propulsion. Sometimes that's all it takes, it's just a few tweaks. And you can see here, it, it's not very efficient because, you know, the jets are actually out of the water quite a lot of the time. So, you know, and, and in that case, what you could do if you have a problem like that is we could go in and pop some lead right on the bottom of the keel. You know, you want to 
You want to try to keep it fairly even with where you're placing this, but... Let's see if that made a difference. A little bit. Not much. I mean, that's something you'd have to tweak, or I could change buoyancy, but... Uh, hey, you know what? It's a working ship, and that's what we set That's what we set out to do. It's a working boat. Look at that turn radius. Goodness! So, I hope you guys found this helpful. Uh, thank you so much for stopping by, checking out the video. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, we'll, be taking out, we'll be taking a look at some other tutorials here, like building your first plane, uh, looking at AI, and, uh, and then tying it together, like building our first boat and plane with AI. So it'll be pretty cool. And I look forward to seeing you guys there. So thank you so much for hanging out. And uh, you guys have a great one, and stay classy.